Hello everyone. So let me share one more uh, script with all of you today. It is not really a script, but uh, uh, just a curl command which I am uh, trying to organize uh, using nothing but uh, this uh, script, which hopefully you can uh, also use. Now the endpoint that I'm talking about today is uh, REST API slash three slash field. Now this endpoint is uh, is uh, it's one of the most uh, useful endpoint, especially for me, because uh, from time to time I need to fetch the list of uh, custom fields, and the list of custom fields is useful for doing a lot of wonderful things. It could be used for maybe understanding the correct custom field ID. Let us say you're doing something with script runner, or you're doing something with automation. You're doing, uh, or maybe you're trying to create an issue using REST API, and you also want to update or create. Uh, custom field values. You want to basically create an issue with custom fields as well. So you need the custom field ID. And uh, if you're trying to do something with automation or you're doing something interesting, maybe you want to know the type of that particular field. Because when you let us say create a new issue, you can definitely create issue with custom fields as well. But uh, if you have to populate uh, a select list value, or maybe a cascading select list value, then you need to understand how those fields are organized and how, or basically what type of fields are there, first of all. And using this endpoint, which is nothing but REST API 3 slash field, you can uh, you can actually get this list uh, very quickly. Uh, so this is, of course, a very important endpoint, especially for me. Also, maybe you want to do audit, maybe you want to know all the fields that you have in your Jira instance and you want to dump this information somewhere, maybe in a CSV file. So you can do that, of course. Now let me show you the script very quickly. Of course, I mean not, nothing uh, great about it, but uh, this this particular uh, script is again doing something very simple. Uh, it is calling the same endpoint, but uh, if you look at the the arguments that I'm passing to JQ, which is uh, this utility to get or to retrieve the uh, JSON and to parse it based on different uh, things that you want to parse, like for example. In my particular, uh, maybe I want to fetch this list of all the fields and I want to dump it to maybe CSV. So I can basically uh, use this uh, script. So right now I have ID, key and name and maybe I want to find uh, out the exact long key. So basically for each and every custom field, let us say you're talking about, uh, maybe, maybe let us take a look at this particular custom field, which is custom field underscore 10070. Now the uh, schema is important here because the schema will tell you that this particular field is uh, basically for uh, multi-text or multi-user picker. So multi-user picker is of course a user picker field. Now whether it is multi-user picker or single user picker, you need to know this uh, and you need to basically modify your script accordingly. Now I want this information. I usually care about this, this information and I can basically get this using a uh, schema dot uh, custom which is uh, which is basically the which is there in the json file now let me just uh, run this i'll go to my terminal and i will uh, try to run this uh, script so the script is nothing but simple curl command but uh, when you have the script you can actually organize it very nicely so i have this information with me of course it is a bit difficult to read but if you look at uh, maybe can i just do this Oh yeah, I can. So if I if I show you this, maybe uh, from the very beginning. So I have the ID key name and the schema dot custom, which is uh, basically my header. And then of course I have the information here. Like right now I'm looking at uh, my. Let me just uh, run it one more time. So if you look at this uh, particular uh, uh, this particular output here, so we have all the fields. Now we can definitely dump it to maybe maybe to um, a CSV file if you need to and, and and maybe you can use it somewhere else. So uh, I thought I'll probably share, about, share this and by the way I, I have been uh, talking about these things in my other Jira REST API videos but I'm also sharing uh, this repository of different scripts with all of you so that you can quickly use these scripts or at least uh, learn how to how to basically fetch this information in case you're trying to do something similar. So I'll, I'll probably continue making similar videos on uh, uh, interacting with 
Jira using REST API, but using uh, shell scripts. And uh, and I'm of course uh, trying to share what things that I use almost on a daily basis to solve my problems. And that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.